just wanted to show you a quick trick today with uh, gr uh, sort of like a granular type synthesis with uh, with the simpler um, and I'm going to show you with some of the samples from the first week sample pack um, from my sample subscription service uh, on wogrelated.com or wogrelated.bandcamp Okay, so the first thing, I'm just going to grab a bunch of samples, drag them in the timeline here. Yeah, actually, let's try it. I'm going to try it with week two. Grab a bunch of samples, drop them in the timeline. Cool. So now, I'm going to drop the simpler on here, put it on slice mode. I'm going to grab this long chunk of samples in there. I'm going to chuck it out. Um, I'm going to set the this part to gate and the playback to through. And I'm going to set the sensitivity higher so that we kind of can get a bunch of different samples from around here. And uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to group it. Um, and I want to do, you know what, I'm just going to group it with a drum rack. And then we know that this thing ends at uh, C1. C1 is the lowest note here. So what we're going to do is we're actually just going to go down one and we're going to set put some drum samples in there. Never go wrong with old reliable. And let's get a snare in there. So for the snare, it might be fun to do a group in here as well. These are all kind of crap, but yeah, sure, that one sounds fine. And then we'll granulize this one too. So let's go set it to warp mode. I'm going to go to texture. Oh, tones is good too. And then we'll stretch it out. Cool. So now we have that sharp, we've got the attack from this one, we've got the granular stuff in right here. And we don't want to loop that, obviously, and we want the release to be zero so that it has a, that tight, like, release sound. We could even do something like this if we wanted. To emphasize the first part. More. Okay, and then we've got this kick drum, which kind of sucks, but whatever. We could do, if we wanted to, I don't think it's necessary, but we could if we wanted to, you know, layer a operator underneath it. And we just drop it in pitch, just to give it a bit more of that low end. Yeah, it's a little bit thicker. And it could be lower. That's eh, a little bit, whatever. It doesn't really matter that much. Yeah, I know it's got that super low end. I like also, I don't love this guy. Maybe actually a pitch envelope would be nice on here. Let's just do a little bit. Just to give it a bit more of that clicky. Yeah. Let's go. Does that sound cool? Not really. There we go. It's kind of more of a, a different sound. Okay, so now let's go in the warp mode here. Let's try tones, or actually this time let's try texture. Let's make it kind of small, stretch it out. And now, probably not gonna be able to write a cool rhythm. Whoops, here we go, right off the bat, but let's just see what we get. Oh, good. Um, okay, so we remember our kick is here. Oh, this is a really long loop. Okay, let's just start with two bars. Okay. Oh, uh, you know what would be nice actually is on this snare drum if we just widened it a little bit on the granulated one. So that's the grainy one. Let's just make that a bit wider. It's just a simple has delay, so we've got a little bit, the one of the sides is a little bit delayed, so. 
Okay, cool. Great, so now we can start playing with these samples. Hopefully they're cool, whoa. We can just do some. I don't know, picking random ones, who cares? So, it's kind of funny. <laughs> So that sounds kind of nice. Um, let's throw an OTT on there to squish it up a little bit. Um, we could also do a thing. This is kind of a fun trick. Um, we could do a thing that sort of turns. Uh, let's. Okay, I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm just gonna do it, and then we'll see how it sounds. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to distort the sound. Okay, let's put it in a group because we're going to want to turn it on and off. Um, okay, so we got the distortion. Let's put a couple filters in here. Moving around. Let's go like that. Oh, we're probably going to need something like corpus to make it into a bit of a more of a tone spread it but make the width small something or something. I don't know what's going on here. something here.
All right, a little bit of chorus would be nice. Yeah, okay, cool, so we're getting there. Right on. Okay, cool. So that's that. And, uh, um, these guys. And the cool thing, too, is, like, if you, like, so say this is cool, but we want to change things up, what we can do is actually just duplicate this. And, you know, you can use your chain selector or whatever you want to do this, but, and then on this second one, we can change, like, we can put the sensitivity up, but we move it over a little bit or something. <laughs> Right, or, I mean, I don't recommend changing the grain size because this kind of gives an inbuilt tone to your sound. So if you change this too much, it's going to sound like you're changing key, sort of. Like, it's, it's kind of weird. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs>